As many cities continue to develop homes and communities, the demand for real estate continues to grow. Many different real estate websites are useful for both buyers, sellers, and real estate agents. These websites give you valuable data like prices, images, area, rooms, and bathrooms. You can also use these websites to find commercial properties as well. The great thing about these websites is that they're MLS listings, meaning you can have access to multiple real estate listings that are available. However, trying to find and extract real estate data manually can be a long and tedious process. We are Parsub, and today, we'll teach you how to scrape a real estate website to extract useful information you can use for price comparison, create a list of properties for clients, and industry insights. So let's get started. For this example, we're going to scrape Royal Le Page. We're going to scrape residential properties that have the following requirements. For sale in Calgary, price range of 400,000 to 700,000, located in the Southwest Quadrant. To get started, you'll need to download and install a free web scraper. We'll be using Parsup for this example. The download link is in the description. Once Parsup is downloaded and installed, open the app, click on new project, and use the URL from Royal Le Page's result page. The page will now render inside the app. Once the website is rendered, a selection function will automatically be created. Click on the first address listing on the page. The address you selected will become green to indicate that it's been selected. Parsub will now suggest the other elements you want to extract. The remaining addresses on the page will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second address on the list. All the items that were previously highlighted in yellow are now green because they are selected. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to address. You'll notice that Parsub is now extracting the address and URL for each listing. On the left side, Click on the plus sign next to the address selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first address of the listing on the page and then on the price. You'll see an arrow connect the two selections. You can repeat this step to also extract the number of rooms, property type, and city. Make sure to rename your new selections accordingly. We have now selected all the data we wanted to scrape from the results page. Your project should look like this for now. Now, we'll tell Parsup to click on each listing we selected and extract additional data from each page. In this case, we'll extract images, property description, and property information. First, on the left sidebar, click on the three dots next to the main template text. Rename your template to listing results page or anything you see fit. Templates help Parsup keep different page layouts separate and will help you organize your project. Now use the plus sign next to your address selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking if this link is a next page button. Click no and next to create new template input a new template name. In this case, we'll use listing page. Parsa will now automatically create this new template and render the first property listing on the results page. Click on one of the images of the property. It will be highlighted in green and all the other suggested images will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the next image in yellow to extract the images. Do note, for this example, we're only scraping the first few images that are part of the carousel. If you want to learn how to scrape all the images from a carousel, the link is in the description. Now, click on the plus sign next to the page command and choose the select option. While using the select command, click on the property information description. Usually in these descriptions contain keywords that buyers search for when looking for a place. For example, open concept. Rename your selection to property information or anything you see fit. Since the building features aren't shown right away, we'll need to reveal them to extract the information. First, click on the browser switch, then click on the more detailed button. Now switch the browser mode back off to continue extracting data. Now I'll extract the building features. Click on the plus sign next to the page command and choose the select option. Then click on one of the labels under building features. Once you selected a label, click on the next label that is highlighted in yellow to extract them all. Let's rename this selection to building features. Click on the plus sign next to your building features selection and choose the relative select command. Click on the first label, then click on the feature. You may need to do this a couple of times to teach Parsub what you want to extract. Your listing template should look like this. 
We can add pagination to this project depending on how many listings you want to scrape. Since this current project has two results page, let's show you how you can deal with pagination. Let's set a parse up to navigate to the next results page. On the left sidebar, return to the listing results page template. You might also need to change the browser tab to the search results page as well. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose a select command. Then select the next page link at the bottom of the Royal La Page website. Rename the selection to next button. By default, Parsehub will extract the text and URL from this link. So expand your new next button selection and remove these two commands. Now click on the plus sign of your next button selection and use the click command. A pop-up will appear asking if this is a next page button. Click yes and enter the number of pages you'd like to navigate to. In this case, we'll scrape one additional page. Then click on repeat current template button. Your final project should look like this. Now our project is ready to scrape Royal La Page. To do this, simply click on the left sidebar and click on the green Get Data button. You'll be brought to this page. This is where you can test, run, or schedule your project. For longer and bigger projects, we recommend doing a test run just to make sure your data will be extracted and formatted correctly. But for this project, click on the Run button to begin your scrape. Once Parsehub is done scraping the website, you'll be notified by email and you'll be able to download your extracted data as an Excel, CSV, or a JSON file. Now you know how to scrape a real estate website like Royal La Page to create a list of properties for sale. This list can be used for price comparison, given to clients, and industry insights. If you need help with any of your web scraping projects, you can contact our customer support team using our live chat. We'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching this video. Check us out at parsehub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping!